fantastic for him. Well, he is one of the country's most versatile and loved actors who has graced our screens for decades. <gasps> que sorpresa! Buongiorno, signora. Christina's daughter. My mother had me young. Josie. Josie! Where are you going? I came in late last night. Didn't want to wake your mum up. Are you fighting? Yeah, a bit. Would you mind telling me what happened last night? We like things the way we like them, and we're not really going to change. But let me give you some advice, and you can take it or not. Don't make the same mistakes I did. I live my day as if it was the last. Oh, how many Aussie icons can you fit in one show? <laughs> Give it up for the one, the only, Anthony LaPaglia. Good morning Ooh. to you. Wow. Oh, it's hey. so good to hear from you this morning. And you have got Thank a you. very special announcement for us today. I do? <laughs> I hope you do. <laughs> I thought I was just sitting here just to talk to you guys. Well, there is um, that as well. Well, about Sunshine, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah the, uh, the new show for SBS, Sunshine. Um, I think nobody told me any of this. I'm just here like a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> um, me too. Yeah, I, I guess I'm here to promote Sunshine, which is on SBS, and I think, is it tonight? I don't know. Well, tell us Can't about remember. the series. Um, it's a um, uh, it's a really a fantastic story that's uh, set in Sunshine in Victoria, which is um, uh, a Sudanese um, community. And... Um, it's the story of these four young uh, Sudanese boys um, who are the core of a ba uh, basketball team that I coach. Mm. And um, they get in, you know, they get accused of, um, you know, attacking and, uh, and raping a young white girl from like Turak. Mm. And, um, and it's about that struggle. Um, it's about their, it's about the perception of them. And it's about m my relationship um, you know, as a kind of a, you know, as a character that has some racist tendencies, mm. yeah, um, to, uh, to deal with them. Um, but more importantly, I think it's kind of like, it's about the, the, it's about immigration. Mm. It's about, um, you know, the, not just the Sudanese community, but like all the communities that are now, uh, coming into Australia and uh, how people perceive them. Mm and kind of what they're up against on a day-to-day -day basis. Really interesting and dramatic themes, and you're, you're right, yeah. is this happening across uh, regional Australia mainly as well. Um, how does this, working uh, on that project uh, for SBS, how does that compare to some of the US television you've done and um, some of the big series you've done? I mean, you, you must, as, you're so busy, aren't you? As, as, as well, the difference is, you know, I think the budgets. Mm. The budgets are much smaller in Australia. But ultimately, I think, like, I'm very proud of, of Sunshine. And I think that, you know, writing-wise and quality-wise, um, it's as good as anything I've done before. Mm. You know this stuff um, in Hollywood at the moment, too. Um, I know this is going to be tough for you to answer, perhaps, but, but this Weinstein stuff. I mean, is Hollywood like that? No. I mean, this is the interesting thing to me about there are so many opinions flying around about the Weinstein thing. But what I can tell you is is that it's impossible to have worked in this business, you know, uh, more than, you know, five years and not to have known that story. Right. Everybody says that it's an elite kind of Hollywood cover-up is being disingenuous. Mm. I mean, I knew the stories for 25 years. Wow. Um, and everybody around me knew the same stories. And so I'm saying it's much more widespread than, oh, this is some great hidden secret. What, what I think people don't quite grasp is the power that the Weinstein Company and Harvey had mm. in Hollywood. I mean, it was uh, spectacular. So what are your thoughts people on were, that? People were afraid of speaking up because, you know, if you spoke up, you, wouldn't, you were never working for the Weinstein Company ever, um, and you were, you know, likely to find trouble elsewhere. So, so they Anthony, had this, they had so much power because, what are your it's going to sound terrible, 
Sorry? What are your thoughts on it then? How do you feel about the way that, that he enacted this power for so long? The way I think about anybody that abuses power, I think it's disgusting. I thought it was disgusting when I heard it. Mm. Um, and I, and I, you know, and I think that it's a really tricky thing that it's hard, I think if you're outside of show business maybe, to understand that these poor women that were assaulted in this way, they genuinely was, you know, I get how it happens because they're chasing a dream. Yeah. And they're genuinely chasing it, not expecting to be sexually harassed or sexually messed with. Yeah. And suddenly they've got this, you know, man who Fair has answer. enormous power to make or break a movie, mm. to make or break an actor, actress, anyone. He, he, was, he was old school Hollywood mogul power. Yeah, it's 2017. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, if, if you look back over the last decade, there have been like in-house references made on popular shows about this. Mm. So it's not like it was, um, it's not like it was a, a, a big secret. Mm. Also, people did try to, to um, you know, bring it to, uh, uh, to people's attention. I think they settled out of court at least eight or nine times. Mm. Anthony, you know, we, appreciate, we appreciate your time, though, and thank you for your candour on that, um, because the, the more yeah. awareness that is raised about this guy, the better. Um, and, and let's raise awareness about... But there the, are other... Listen, there are other people like that, but it does not represent yeah, the business agreed. as a whole. Mm. And there is not an elite Hollywood cover-up of it. I mean, it's just... You know, I'm not apologising for everybody not speaking up, yeah. but people tried, mm. and they were shut down. Okay. And important to lift the lid on and it let's, now. And let's acknowledge, too, the better side of the business. This is what you do. Um, and Sunshine airs tonight at 8.30pm oh, on SBS. Thank it looks you. absolutely terrific, and thank you for your time. Good on you, Anthony. Thank Always you for your time. Thanks for joining okay. us. Okay. Appreciate it. A little bit Bye. late for the news. Here is uh, Sylvia. Thank you, Carl. Yes.